and good morning. This is Danielle and we are here in the woodlands today getting ready to show you another wonderful Blue Moon estate sale we have coming up this weekend. This house is packed full to the gills. We have tons of women's jewelry, clothing, fabric, decor, you name it, it is in this house. So we are in the woodlands. So if you remember, you do have to make the appointments. The sale is going to be Friday and Saturday, March 8th and 9th from nine to three, both days. And I wanna show you a little bit about the area we're in. So the streets here are pretty narrow. So we're only gonna park on one side, but if you look at the end of the street, we're on the corner and this whole street, it's two sided. So you can park on both sides on the main street. You see my white car my white SUV there parked, that's gonna be the preferred place for people to park and then they can come and pull up in front of the house kind of for pickup. Um, there is a few spots in the front, but again, it's pretty tight and the, um, you know, the houses are a little bit close together so the yards are kind of not, you know, kind of small. But anyways, so let's step inside. Again, the sale is going to be Friday and Saturday. March 8th and 9th from 9 to 3. Please do make those appointments on Calendly. If you make an appointment, show up for your appointment. If you cannot make it, please cancel because our appointments do book up and then nobody else can come and that's just not fair if you don't show up. So let's step inside. Okay, so as we've stepped inside, you see I'm right inside the front door and this is the entryway. So to our left here, we have a cute mirror and Tiffany style lamp. This really nice entry piece. I love the woodwork on that. Lots of interesting lamps in this house. And we do have a lot of different lampshades. So you could combine different lampshades with different lamps, but a lot of unique, you know, lamps and pieces in here. I'm gonna turn right behind me. So we do have a couple of rooms that are blocked off. This is one of them, but then we have this entryway. And I wanna show you this bookcase with the wire doors on the front. Pretty neat little piece. Lots of books. There's lots more books in the garage. Lots of purses eyeglass case and you can see some of the brands we've got betsy johnson we've got nine west we have some brahman we have all kinds of different brands in here this is a big fashion sale lots of women's clothing shoes jewelry purses that kind of stuff which i'll show you some of that we have this china hutch here in the main living room and there are a couple, we did thin it out quite a bit with all the stuff in here, but there's some nice blue and white pottery. Lots of elephants in this house. I personally love elephants, so I like these. But you'll see that as a common theme throughout. And one more little piece. So right behind me is the main living room, and this is where we're going to have our checkout, which we're working on getting set up, and then our hold shelf. There is a nice large brown sofa here, and then it has a matching chair behind me. It's like a little corner chair coffee table. Lots of accessories at this sale as well. Another elephant. Big clock. Some speakers. This is an antique drop leaf table. There are uh, pads for the top of that as well. This is always where we have our little special things. There's some Linux and some crystal figurines here. I took some good pictures of them so you can see those. So now we're gonna head into the kitchen. We have two different kinds of bar stools. There's actually four of these swivel bar stools. And then there's two of these metal bar stools. We have lots of serving pieces, lots of white 
serving pieces. Some of them are in the metal frames. Look at those cute elephant cups, elephant mugs. We have some Polish pottery, always a hit. Love Polish pottery. Some blue flower corning ware. Again, more white serving pieces. This is a cute little baking set. It says baked with love. These say baked with love. Lots of utensils. We actually have three utensils baskets at this one. Over here in the kitchen cabinets, lots of glassware, more serving pieces, cute cups, Michelob, Bubba Gump, variety of pitchers. I like this little glass piece. Lots of good barware and party glasses. Red martini glasses. These are some vintage, or actually these are probably antique yellow glasses. Look at these. These are the, um, the signs. So Scorpio, Aries, Aquarius, Taurus like gold plated and then on the back it talks about each of them so that's a really neat set this nice set of dishes they are Gibson they're like a hunter green color with the black on the bottom lots of pots and pans there's some Cuisinart there's some Cafalon some Copper Chef lots of different pots and pans a variety of mugs, more fun little barware, little elephant cups, some small appliances. We got a juicer, milkshake, I don't know what you call that, milkshake mixer, roaster, and a Keurig, a red one. At first I thought these were all solo cups, but they're plastic. So these are all reusable um, kitchenware. Lots of different mugs. The refrigerator is not for sale at this house. I love this set, the little elephants. Tiered serving tray. Just gonna kinda walk around. A little bar cart. This shelf has a lot of our um, crystal and cut glass items. Lots of serving ware, pitchers, bowls, vases, salt and pepper shakers, you name it. Okay, we're gonna turn around over here across the kitchen. This is a, there's two things. This is a pro commercial juicer. And then we also have a water um, water dispenser. So the filtered water bottle goes in the bottom and then it comes out with the water on the top. So that's nice to have for your house. A few more clocks, some silver pieces. This is some of our jewelry. There are some really neat purses in here. Like look at that one, I love that. Cute little vanity trays, sunglasses. There's a lot to see at this house, y'all. It's gonna take you a minute to go through it. And you can just get a feel for just a little bit of the jewelry you're fixing to see. So we're still looking at, or we're still arranging some of this, but I did wanna get the video because again, this is an appointment sale and I know how you guys like to make your appointments and you want to know if it's something that you want to come shop for. So how are you going to know unless you see the video, right? So we're going to move in here to the jewelry room. And I'm just going to do a quick pan so you can kind of see, but this whole complete room is full of jewelry. 
So now I'm going to walk around. You can see it's all on different display racks. There is a lot, a lot here, folks. This whole thing spins around. Some of these are really cute rodeo earrings. I went to the rodeo last week and I wish I'd had some of these cute earrings. These drawers pull out and are full of more things. A couple pieces of nice furniture in here too, like this little buffet. More earring spinners. Some fancy ones down there. And then behind me, actually these two little display tables, so I don't know if you can see them, we're gonna move them tomorrow. These are glass tables on top, and then they have these doors that open up, so they're really nice for if you wanna display something, or even if you had a business or something like that. These are really nice pieces. Again, more earring spinners, lots of turquoise, silver, lots of jewels and bling. Behind me. <clears throat> There's a lot. I don't want to make this video an hour long or nobody will watch it. So, but if you don't get the idea that there is a lot in here, I'm telling you, there's a lot in here. Lots of purses. And then this is the second table, the same, but you can see the glass table, see how it has a display cases underneath it. And then again, more cute jewelry, earrings, really colorful pieces. There's some down here that we even need to organize tomorrow in display cases. Look at this cute purse. This is the Michelle Obama purse. That is really cute. Sunglasses. Pearls and bracelets. And then as we move out, we've got this little display with some of the cuter little small decorative purses. Are really cute too, all the way around. Okay, and now we're going to go down the hallway to the master bedroom. And as we go, we see this table of decor and chotskis and collectibles. Again, more elephants. Some really cool vases. Some artwork. And now we're heading into the master bedroom. So as you first come in, we have several different furs. This is just a little fur stole wrap. Really cute piece. This one, I love this one. This one, let me stand back so you can see it better. This one is uh, more like a poncho, but I love the ruffle on it. It's really cute. And then behind it, 
things. We have this fur. And look at this one. See the ruffle on the bottom of that too? And the sleeves, it's got like a short bell sleeve. This is really cute. This very cute style. It's not a style that you see a lot. It's very unique. Hat, for hat. I'm just gonna leave that right there. <laughs> a little fur friends. Okay. This is a whole box of pashminas and you can see they're brand new in the packages. The master bedroom is set up kind of like a little boutique. So as you come in, we've got lots of linens, we've got lots of hats, bedspreads, throws, curtains, just you name it, more decor pieces. Got these dress forms with some of the cute hats. And then for here, this armoire, which has more kind of jewelry display pieces. And then these clothes are really nice. These are the nice dressy uh, kind of designer clothes on this one. We have the dressy evening gowns on this one. And then we have, again, some of the more stylish ones over there. Then there's a whole nother closet, y'all. And you can see from the tags, a lot of these have the tags on them. So we did pull them out. We're taking pictures, individual pictures of some, so you can see them better. But, I mean, look at that. This, I love this one. Again, another little shawl thing. Fur on the inside. Don't, this one's not real fur. Really cute. Leather pants, a lot of leather pants. These clothes are anywhere from size large to, I think, 18 and 2X. So not small sizes, not smalls and mediums, um, but large and up. Some crystal lamps. We have two end tables. There's a lot more lamps. Remember I said there was lots of lampshades. There's some here. We're gonna step into the master bathroom where it has been converted into the fashion closet. So these are all shoe boxes. They are filled with shoes. A lot of them are brand new with the tags on. Again, we're gonna take some uh, more detailed pictures of these tomorrow for y'all to see. Cute artwork more belts and hats and scarves and more shoes. Most of these are size 10, if not all of them. I think there's a few 10 and a halves and a few nine and a halves, but mostly 10. They probably fit like a 10, but there's Kate Spade, there's Nine West, there's Lauren, Betsy Johnson. Lots and lots of good brands. See, these are a nine. Some boots. Tons and tons of shoes. And even down here, there's some that are brand new, you know, with the tags on them. So if this is your size, this is your sale for shoes. Some more cute artwork. These decorative pillows. Then we're gonna step into the closet where we see we have a lot more clothing, more shoes, some more cute little stoles, more boots and shoes. It's a lot of clothes, but again, we're pulling some out tomorrow so you guys can see a bit more of what we have. But, I mean, you can just see how many have the tags on them. Okay, let's walk outside. So we've got a covered patio. 
The covered patio has a lot of organization, totes, drawers, lots of these crystal acrylic, you know, display things. Um, again, we're, we got to work more on this tomorrow, but I just wanted to show you what was out here. There is a cute little table. And then this filing cabinet. Lots of gardening stuff. Some different umbrellas and baker's racks. Even the planter is for sale. I'm going to walk back here to the backyard. So in the backyard we have these wrought iron rockers. And the fire pit. All for sale, even the bricks. Patio furniture. We have some uh, cute little decorative yard frogs. This grill, it is a green egg style. It is a king griller, char grill. And then even around the corner, like we have the deck box here. And then on the side, We've got lots of empty totes and planters and trash cans and coolers and just random stuff also for sale back here, even, even the stones. All right, so last but not least, we're gonna come out to the garage and there's a lot out here too. So in the garage, we've got lots of little folding tables. We've got a couple shop backs, a nice little grocery cart on wheels. Some large suitcases, another shop bag. There's a small little Magic Chef fridge. We have several of these um, boxes full of books. Lots and lots and lots of books. A bookshelf. And then if you guys are crafters or sewers or designers, this, this is not quilting fabric. This is fabric used to make pillows to make curtains, to make cushions, all kinds of decor type things. A lot of this is from high fashion fabric. If you're familiar with fabric, you know this store. Um, you can make formal pieces out of this. You can make some beautiful you know, jackets, um, all kinds of accessories. There's sequins. I mean, there's just, there's faux fur. Lots of faux fur, just tons and tons and tons of fabric, decor, like designer type, like not quilting fabric, it's not cotton. And then we have lots of notions. So reels and reels of trim. I mean, just tons and tons of trim. Some medical equipment. We have this uh, scooter, oh, this fell down. This is a walker. So we have a couple, two different walkers, one with a nice basket on it, wheelchair, and then we have this electric scooter. It has the charger and it does work. It's got the manual and everything. So that's a nice little scooter, portable. Again, more notions. Over on this wall, we need to do some organizing tomorrow, but there's lots of beads and jewelry making supply, more display things here. I'm gonna come to the other side so you can see it a little bit better. But if you can see, there's just boxes and boxes of beads in there. Bags of beads and stones. Pearls, findings, chains, all kinds of, all kinds of crafty supplies there. Some golf clubs and golf club bags. More decor items. Lots of display type like these, or these would actually be also really cute to hang on the wall and you can put little, little trinkets in there. You know, little trinkets that you get from traveling or whatever. Those are nice little display uh, cases for those. We have a Husky toolbox, some different tool bags. 
There is a uh, Singer Ultra Lock Surging Machine. There's a lot of those cones as well that uh, go with that. Chafing dish. Another little fridge, a little white fridge, a little microwave. Step back here so you can see some of the decor items. More display pieces. She, I mean, there's name of a company on it. I think it's her company. So she must have sold these or had a market or had a booth or a boutique or um, something. I don't really know. But um, she had to have because this stuff is just too nice, number one. And number two, there's just too much of it. But you can see all the notions, all the trim, all the bling bling sequence, and just tons and tons and tons. And then if that fabric over there wasn't enough, there's even more over here. But look, I mean, this is nice, pretty, fancy fabric. There's some pleather. Lots of different textures and styles and I mean, I'm thinking this would be great for like a school that does um, fashion design. You know, I mean, just all kinds of uses I could think of for this stuff. Pillows, throw pillows, decorative pillows. I mean, making a pillow is so easy. You get the pillow forms and just fit it in. Super easy. Tons of jewelry boxes. Some records, some cast iron. There's just a little bit of everything here. So again, we are um, two days. We're in the Woodlands, Friday and Saturday, March 8th and 9th from 9 to 3. It's a Magnolia address, but it is still in the Woodlands. We're in the May Valley area of the Woodlands. So you do have to make those appointments, and they are filling up. So if you think you want to come, please make your appointment. But if you make the appointment, show up, because we are going to be looking at seeing who doesn't show up. And if you habitually don't show up for your appointments, you might not be able to make them if we're full or I may drop you off if we're booked because it's not fair that other people can't come. So this is going to be a great sale. Definitely going to want to be here. Whew. Hope to see you there.